Okay, here's a video on how to use the job assistant feature within the VersaWorks program. So this feature has been around for a while. They have recently updated it with a new feature and it's for people who don't have access to design software or don't know how to use external design software like Illustrator or Coral for setting up cut lines, spot colors, etc. So if you right click on a job that you bring into VersaWorks, you'll see the job assistant there. So we're going to open that up. This is the main job assistant page. So you can zoom in and out on the artwork if you need to see specific elements. So the first tab is for spot colors. So this is for your white and gloss if your printer has them. Next one is for your cut lines. So if you've got a print and cut machine, you can add cut lines there again without having to use design software. There's a couple of other tabs there that just to show you guys what they are. So we'll start with the spot color one to begin with. So you've got a few options, creating spot color. You can draw a spot color, or you can replace one of the colors in your artwork with a spot color. And then, as I said, it's for white gloss or primer if your printer has those enabled. And there's a few other features there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select some elements of the artwork. I'm gonna select all of it. I'm holding down shift as I select each element. Now something to bear in mind is these, this feature only works on PDFs, so vectorized PDF artworks, so no good for JPEGs and things like that. I'm individually selecting all the letters while holding down shift. As you can see, they're all getting selected as I move along. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on white and create. And there you go. Click OK, click Yes, and it will generate another piece of artwork. I'm just going to open that up and have a quick look. Obviously, you still have to go through the same procedure with VersaWorks. You have to tell the printer that you want to print, in this case, white, then color. And just to give you a visual, I've selected white only, and there you go. So it's generated the spot color for Roland White ink. And at that point, we could press print, and away we go. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna delete that one off. and open up the job assist again and show you the cut line generation. So we'll go to the cut line generation. Again, you've got a few options, creating, drawing, replacing or merging multiple cut lines. You can either select normal contour cut or perf cut for cutting through the backing paper of the sticker or artwork that you're trying to do various different types so if you're doing lettering cut the interior of the letter or not <coughs> so again I'm going to select the same element so the main body of the artwork holding down shift again as I select each element to make sure they're all selected and we're going to select all the letters Make sure we're on contour cutting and create. As you can see, all those elements now have got a cut line around them. Don't have to just do one type as well. So I'm going to do a drawing, a box, and I'm going to make that the perf cutting. And I'm going to manually stretch the box around the artwork to create a perf cut cut line as well as the contour cut, cut line. So you can do multiple cut lines at once on one piece of artwork. As you can see there, the border has got a perf cut round it. 
and the artwork itself has all got the contour cut around it. We'll click OK and then yes. Again, it will generate a new piece of artwork. And we're just going to open that up just to show you what it's done on VersaWorks itself. Just to make it easier to see, we'll go to Cut Control and Cut Only. Just to show you. So you've got the main body of the artwork and the lettering in contour cut and the outskirts is cut with perforated cut. I'm going to delete that one off again and select job assist again. This time we're going to do the white spot color generation and the cut lines all in one hit. So same process again, make sure I'm on white for the spot color select the various elements of the artwork that we want the white ink to print There we go, let's create those. So that's our white ink elements, and then we'll go to the cut line. Now, because I've already got these all selected, all I have to do is select that and make that my contour cut line. There we are. And then again, we're gonna draw a box. So we'll position that on the outskirts of the artwork, and manually drag it to where we need it to be for the perf cut. So OK and yes again. And then just to show you guys again. So this particular artwork has got the white spot color for the white ink. Oops, zoomed in a bit too much here. Again, we need to tell the printer that we are actually printing the white ink. So white then color, and just to show you again, there's the white. And then we'll go to cut control again, select cut only. So there we go, there's the two different elements there. The contour cut line around the artwork and the perf cut around the exterior of the artwork. And there we are. Really handy tool, again, if you're not used to using design software or don't have access to it.